You know, I question how Amy's prayer beads, like, flown around her neck like that. I mean, how does that work exactly? Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Okami Blind. In the last episode, things got freaky when we dived into the bowels of the Emperor. And we also freed Mr. Bamboo's alleged granddaughter, and she said she wanted to go to Sasha's Sanctuary, so we're going to go meet her there by taking the Mermaid's Bank from Ryoshima Coast. I wanted... And also, I should mention off screen, I did buy some holy bones because I ended up using a couple during the boss fight, so I thought it might help. Okay. Tools. Do some mermaid coin real quick. And Amy fell in while she tossed the coin. <laughs> okay. We can actually. Is that. Yeah, it is active. That's good to know. Okay, it's not just sanctuary. I'm hoping to find a store that that, that carries gold dust. I think the one in in, ta in the village nearest one, I think it was like Taka Village, Tama Village, something like that. One of the two, two it carries gold dust if I remember correctly, but let's just take care of what we need to take care of here. We're in Sasha Sanctuary now. Oh wait, this, that, that's not the right way. Oh wait, actually, yes it is. Thank God for marks on your map, right? <laughs> okay, so the boss of Blight, definitely more engaged than than Crimson Helm or the Spider Queen, but not quite good enough to match a Rochi, in my opinion. I may have said that that was probably the best boss fight yet, but I think I was wrong. The gods be praised! Is it really you, Kaguya? I never thought I'd see you again after the Emperor suddenly summoned you to Seon City. Kakuya, dear Kakuya. It feels like ages since we last met, Grandfather. My, look at all those new wrinkles. Have I, how, have I worried you so? Oh, Grandfather. I thought you guys would run into each other here. I'm happy for you too. Oh, Kakuya, let's live together happily ever after. We could sell my bamboo where just you and me. Huh? Oh, uh. Hmm? What's wrong, Kaguya? Do you have to return to the Emperor? No, that's not it. It's just. I cannot live with. I cannot live with you, Grandfather. <coughs> huh? Huh? What are you talking about, Kaguya? You're not eloping or running away from something, are you? I didn't know who. I didn't know you were here, Grandfather. It would have been better if we had not met before I departed. Depart? Where are you going? I'm not sure. The Royal Crest carved into the earth here in Sasha Sanctuary. I actually didn't notice that when I met the Canine Warrior here. It calls to me. Oh, hello! What the? That's what I'm wondering. Kaguya, what are you doing? It's as if I'm being driven by some invisible force. Below this crest, far below the earth, something linked to my mysterious past awaits. I must go. I must see what lies within this hole. Kaguya! Kaguya! No, don't do it, Bamboo Girl. It's too dangerous. After her, Amy! And I should let him think about it more. I'm pretty sure any... Seller I've seen carry gold dust only carries one of them, so I don't think I'll have. Oh shoot! Yeah, so that's a discussion for later. <sighs> Power slash work with me here. There we go. Okay, so I should be better at this one because I know I can use Gale Storm. So you can watch Gale Storm. I get down here. Okay, now I'm gonna go up there and get more time, because that would really help. It's 20 more seconds, very, very nice. I am determined not to fail this one like I did before. For the last one. But I actually do like this minigame. It's a nice it's a nice break of the pace, but it doesn't do it in a drastic way. If that makes any sense. Okay, blow her over here. And blow her over here. There it is! I don't know why it didn't work the first two times. Don't run into that, that's stupid. 
And Amy, will you get your your beef back? You look kind of naked right now. There we go. Okay, there's Gen in this one. How nice. Now she can't, now we can't possibly lose her because she can't jump her for some odd reason. But still, I wonder what's down here. Okay, wait, wait a sec. Um, I wanted to blow her this way. Okay, I was early. I'll admit that. Now if she gets up. There we go. Okay, I'll just wait a second. I guess I'll just bring it path ahead and get some game while I'm at it. There we go. Now, the water spout. And once again, Amy, you're naked. And I timed that way too early. I love the double jump. In any game, I love a double jump, but in this game especially. Up. Come on. Just get over here. We won't have any issues. But uh, she's slow, so we have issues. Okay, let's try this again. That worked out. Okay, dig. Slash. Oh, we made it. Now we just gotta wait for her to find the right spot for us to dig. Okay. And we're almost out of time. Come on, Kaguya. A little faster would be nice. I just can't take Amy seriously without the. Oh, right there. Without the weapon on her back or neck or whatever. I don't know why, I just can't take her seriously. She just looks naked. Just plain vanilla wolf. So I wonder what we were digging down there. Um Is that a rocket ship? I'm dead speechless right now, cause. I've seen Japanese folklore just this. The bamboo girl? What the heck? Looks like a bamboo shoe, except it's metal and insanely huge! This. This is what was calling me. It's the link to my mysterious past. Kaguya? I knew. I knew that the giant bamboo shoe was buried here in such a sanctuary. You did? But. One day, many years ago, I came here to cut down some bamboo. Suddenly, this giant bamboo should appear before my very eyes. Your cold and nearly lifeless body came tumbling out. Then, this giant bamboo should disappear back into the ground. You were as cold as ice, and you looked like you might die at any minute. I so quickly picked you up and rushed home. My dearly departed wife and I nursed you back to health. We had always wanted a child. You were like a blessing from the heavens. You brought joy to our lives. I couldn't tell you the truth. I feared that if you found out, you would seek out the strange bamboo shoot. I feared it would take you away from us forever. Don't go. Don't go, Kaguya. Grandfather. Yeah, that's pretty touching. <laughs> Look, they make an Isun cry. I always thought of you and dearly departed grandmother as my real family. And that feeling shall never fade. Though I may leave, my heart remains with you. Remember that. But I cannot stay here with you. A mysterious force is calling me. I cannot resist. I must discover where I came from. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. I just need to know. So I beg you, oh grandfather dear. See me off with a smile on your face. Okay. I will, Kaguya. Go wherever you may. I only ask that when you get there, you remember one thing. You are my precious grandchild. Never forget that. You're my dearest, most precious grandchild. Oh, grandfather. Again, this is just so touching. So emotional. 
his precious grandchild. Huh? I wasn't thinking about home or anything. No, really. Isu, Amaterasu, I'm forever grateful to you. I can never thank you enough for what you did for me. But please, accept this as a token of my appreciation. A fire tablet? I don't know what this is for. It was my sole link to my mysterious past. But now I'm returning home. I shall need it no longer. May it help you in your travels. It is time. Time for me to depart. Thank you, you two. Thank you, grandfather. Farewell. And may we meet again someday. Stuff. Last time I've seen stuff that touching was either Xenoblade Chronicles or the last story. You don't see outside of RPGs like that, you don't see touching moments like these. Case in point. But still. Oh, it's gone. I wonder where it's headed. I hope the bamboo girl is a safe journey wherever it leads. Hey, Amy, get the light out. We got sidetracked helping that bamboo girl. Let's get going. We got work to do. We gotta rake that queen over the coals! She's got some explaining to do! But still, I don't know what the fire tablet is. Also, do I have a gold dust on me? I wish. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. Yeah, I, just, I just don't know what to say at this point. I mean, I was so touching, so emotional. There isn't as much to say except let's just head to where we need to go. I just need to get out of here before I start sobbing. I'm stronger than that, but dang it! Okay. Nah, it's not worth checking out. I'll probably just find some of the next town. Yeah, like I said, this warp system is a little bit inconvenient because it can only be done in specific places, but hey, it's better than nothing. So let's see. Oh, that's a big t that's a big clock tower. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. You're a persistent one, aren't you, Mutt? For whatever reason, the curse seems to have dissipated. There's still a sinister presence on the Riyashima coast, though. But we won't let you lay a finger on Queen Himiko. No, we guards will let any evil get past the b get the better of us. Bah, Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. Maybe they can stand up to the evil of those little monsters. But I bet they're no match for a vest that needs my gods! Okay, did they fade for a second? I swear they did. Okay, let's play. Okay, plan B. That did the trick. But I swear to god, during that second conversation, they faded for a minute. I don't know. Is that, could you count that as a glitch? Not like I. Not like Amy's glitching out before, if you remember that. Seriously, what the heck happened there? I was just. I don't know what to think. Okay, let's be we have a queen to talk to. Emiko's <laughs> waiting for us? Oh I see a flames. Wait. The flames have it, could that that be the key? Hmm. This is bizarre. Holy artifacts. Wait, that might have that might have what I need to know, let's see.
Oh, the fire tablet. Protection from fire. So that's what the holy artifacts were for. Hey, it works! Except I might drown. And since this is in water, I can't make a water lily, not like it matters. But still, that's pretty sweet. That should be handy. Save mirror I don't need. So I highly doubt there's a boss fight coming. So what do I know? Green Himiko? So why isn't... Well, I question something. Why is the city need both an emperor and a queen? It just baffles me. Hey, Amy. I bet that's Himiko. Looks like that freaky shut-in is praying or something. <laughs> security here was pretty tight. But nothing we couldn't handle. Yeah, you tell her, Emmy. Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And Isu, the traveling artist. You too, of course. Hey, how'd you know our names? Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. <laughs> we know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag! Hey, soon. your words are very harsh. But you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. Benevolent Amaterasu, I, Himiko, the ruler of Seon City, offer my most sincere apologies. Oh. of Seon City, Himiko. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Seon. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until I have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Oni Island. What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island or whatever you call it. And what do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I mean, it's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away. Oni Island is elusive. It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. That reminds me of Mirage Island. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. Still, why did I just stay cooped up in this room all day long? I mean, what good would it do to simply pray in day in and day out? <coughs> Huh? What's this? Hey, that looks a bit familiar. He's trying to mess with us. This is the treasured crystal ball. Yeah, it kind of looks like the crystal ball Waka was using to communicate. My family, the ya Yamatai clan, has ruled over Seon City forever. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. 
I can foresee the future. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where in this ocean only island will appear next. Interesting. You could find only island in a jiffy with that thing. Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. <coughs> but if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. That is why I've locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. Eh, that's a pretty good story, Queenie. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything for a pretty lady. <laughs> you soon. What the heck? Are you okay? Ouch. Thanks for the warning. Be careful. You cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, a powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. <coughs> You'll be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. Altarasu, I entreat you once again. Will you hear my request? The request of all my people? I guess so. The mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why I suddenly turned to savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So then they may cause harm. We, can invade, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. In fact, without the water dragon, only island is beyond our reach. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Quit beating around the bush. Just spit it out already. The key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. Even in the crystal ball shows me the location of the island. The island's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. Any attempts to break the shield will only result in our own pain. But the water dragon could break that shield with ease. You can form a bridge over to the sea, sea for, from over the sea to the island. There is saying that you'll reveal the location of only island and the water dragon will break the barrier around it? Is that the only way to get into the enemy stronghold? What about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? I seriously doubt it'll be happy to help us. Yeah, last time we last time we ran into it, it is alive. That's why I must ask for your help, Amaterasu. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. I cannot leave this palace, for my prayers require all my energy. You're the only one who could take on this important task. You gotta be kidding me. You don't have to make friends with a rampaging water dragon? I don't have to do anything for a cute babe, but... If my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. My boss, are you gonna help Himiko or what? Yes. Bummer. Oh, the boss has spoken. Huh? What was that, Ami? Oh, well, Masarasu, you're truly benevolent. Huh, deja vu. So I trust you with this border key. Use this key across the border and continue into the land beyond. It's said there is a race between rolls the water dragon. It live in the sea beyond the border, in the Dragonian domain. Sounds like my kind of place. You may have some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. Okay then, I know my next destination. I still got a bit of time given how long it has to be. Now look at the mess you've gotten us into, Furball! Uh, at least we know what's been controlling the water dragon. Let's go to the Dragonian Domain. Let's go pay the Dragonian Domain a visit. I'll go bring my Dragonite. <laughs> well, I'm sure my Dragonite would love that place. Seriously, if, if, if it weren't for the fire tablet, the MVP grows into a golden brown wolf. So I think I'm gonna go check out the Dragonian Domain real quick, and then end it off at, at the next save here. It won't be long. Hmm. Nighttime's kind of bothering me. 
That's better. Yeah, I just... I like the peaceful, serene city, but... Huh? Hey, how'd you get in there, mutt? This is terrible. How'd you get past our foolproof defenses? Oh, this is so foolproof. How can we let Kuihiba go down like this? Uh, Urgh, get out of here, mutt! Okay, I already heard all this. Yeah, there. Yeah, it was foolproof defense, except to the spell of a drunken sheep god. <laughs> I still can't say that with a straight face. It was just so funny how it was a drunken sheep god. Makes you wonder what he was drunk off of. Okay, then. <clears throat> Again, I swear I saw a chest cloaked in flames somewhere in the city. Yeah, I'll probably worry about it when I worry about it. Hey, do you remember when YouTube used to have time limits? Those were dark times, but thank but those are those days are behind us. I can now record 30 30 minute episodes with, with relative ease, in fact, and also I had a 40 minute episode recorded that you have already seen. Hey, wait, what's that? No, it's not a mermaid's wing, then what is it? Now it's gone. It's R. Where's that flaming chest I saw? Dang, Amy, you can jump. Okay, I guess I don't know where it is, but I'm, I'm sure I'll find it at some point. Oh! Water Lily! Not Water Spout. Not Water Spout. Water Lily. Not Gale Storm! There we go. Game, you can be a jerk sometimes. And you know you're a jerk sometimes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the exit to Rio Shima Costa I'm looking for is to the east. Let's look at my map. Nor northeast. Well, east from my perspective, it's technically north northeast, but whatever. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I was just adjusting my headset a bit. Okay then, you're going to mean here I come. I'm so looking forward to what this looks like. I mean, I bet it's full of dragons, flying dragons, water dragons, earth dragons, fire dragons. North Hiroshima coast. Okay, not quite yet. Now then, where is this dragon still, man? Sounds like this might be something that might be under the sea. I ran I have to get wet if we can if I can help it. And it's not it's not afraid of that pesky water dragon. It's just the use of those Lily practically put me to sleep. Sure, let's go with that. How do you keep showing up? Bonjour, Amaterasu. I trust you enjoy our, your little adventure through that hole. The city's air is sure to be cleaned up thanks to you. Just ignore him, maybe he'll go away. Come on, Amy. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? It used to be one big curse zone out here. But you truly pulled off one of the great divine interventions. What? I really wanted to wait for you two, but I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, uh, the sea off Ryoshima Coast is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my my little friend? What's that supposed to mean, pretty boy? Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you are wandering artists now. I want to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one will be fine. Pretty, please. Huh? My art's none of your business. Why should I show it you anyway? You really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those imposters who claims to be an artist, but could not paint a picture of in light depends on it, would are you? What? Oh, nothing. Just something some old man mentioned. 
His grandson, who was always his apprentice, ran away from home, and he took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. Do you think that he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it's so hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Make it like a tree and leave. Or you can stick around and drag a slice to dice. Excuse me, you don't have to get all hot under the color. It would appear I've struck a raw nerve. Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby. This is still one mysterious character. I don't know what to think of it. Still. But honestly, before we end off, wait, what's this? Oh, perfect! I was hoping I could run into an enemy. I think I have a nose. I was hoping I could run into an enemy to try out this new weapon. Okay, let's slow him down. Um, why is the slowing down not working? There it is. Dang, that's some power! Imagine how powerful it will be when I get to actually find gold dust for this thing. Not too shabby. Currently rolling in the end, which is nice. Okay, demon scroll. Um, yeah, there's an orange mirror right there, and recording 32 minutes actually. I'm just gonna save and end it off here. So next time on Let's Play Okami Blind, we're gonna search for a Reach Streamer codes for the Dragonian Domain. See you guys next time. Take care.